I felt really good. Uh, that'll bring a lot of energy this morning. Uh, I felt a lot better today, so. Uh, and I hate sitting down, so it was good for me to get back out there today. What were kind of your symptoms the last few days? Uh, I just had a slight headache. It wasn't nothing major. Uh, I just uh, didn't feel like myself a little bit, but today I came back in. I tried to bring a lot of energy. I felt good on the basketball floor today and practicing a good today. Luke said you had to run some points today. How was that? Uh, it was good. Uh, of course, it's, it's natural for me for just playing since uh, high school, playing the point guard a little bit. But uh, it was good for me trying to uh, spread out the positions a little bit of what I'm going to play on the basketball floor. Yeah, you had a few uh, games at that position last year. Do you want to still play that uh, this sophomore year, or do you kind of want to stay in your small forward on the wing? Uh, I want to be versatile. Yeah. Um, of course, that's not my natural position. That's not what I want to play all game. But uh, I think I can see myself running a few plays from the point position and uh, missing it up a little bit. Is that something that Luke talked to you about you know, doing this season, especially with the, the way the roster is constructed and having so you know, few point guards? Oh, yeah. And um, I think with the, the people we have on our team, with their IQs and the way they pass the basketball, I think uh, a lot of people can switch positions on the basketball floor. Uh, but the way they pass the basketball, the way they see, they see the game, uh, I think anybody can on our team can switch positions on the back. What were you able to learn last season in, in that stretch where you actually played a lot of points? Uh, just different things I can do to affect the game, whether it's passing the basketball, scoring the ball, uh, how I can pick up a guard and use my length uh, on, at the point guard position. So um, just different things like that. Do you, do you study tape on any of the guys who are kind of your frame, that run point, like Giannis or any of those guys? Uh, I mean, I don't play point often, so right. um, I don't really kind of look at that stuff. But of course, I do look at Giannis and guys like that, just my size, and pick out different things I can do on the floor. Did you and Lonzo talk during the game on the bench last night? Yeah, uh, we had a lot of dialogue between each other. Um, just seeing the game, how we could be better on the defensive end and the offensive end, uh, trusting each other with the pass on the defensive end, uh, and just compete. I think the way we played the game uh, the other night was not how we were practicing, and it could have been a lot of factors into that, but I think uh, just getting back in here today was, was good for us. Did you maybe learn from that in a way that you just kind of sit there and watch that unfold about maybe helping you this year and play alongside? Absolutely. I think, um, in any game, we just have to bring a competitive edge. I think uh, that game was uh, doesn't show our identity of how we want to play this year. So just coming back in here, uh, trying to reflect on that game a little bit, and just uh, take it to the next game. I know we say put games behind us, but uh, just thinking about that a little bit as we go into the next game. What type of message um, Just told us our training camp has been going really good. Uh, we've been coming in here competing every day on the defensive end, on the offensive end. And uh, for that to happen, don't let, a, let that get to us. Uh, we've been practicing so hard and we're competing against each other. Just try to let it translate to the game, how we go at each other here, we just try to uh, translate to the game. With the end of preseason, how important is it for you guys to just kind of get that first game under your belt? Uh, I don't think it's important at all, actually. I mean, we want to play hard. Of course, we want to win the game as competitors, but all we're worried about is ourselves. So, uh, the way we can, the way we can play the right way, uh, swinging the basketball, trusting each other uh, on the defensive end, defensive rebounding. Uh, we just want to emulate how we want to play in the regular season. Just try to play the right way. There are a couple of ways to improve the defense. Uh, first, individual defense. Um, of course, when we get stops, rebounding the basketball, uh, trusting each other on the help side. So that's a lot of things that factors into that. But uh, it's a whole new team, and uh, for for that to happen, we just gonna have to keep drilling it every day and trusting each other. Randy, with you guys going back to Vegas and played one game together, but what did you learn from playing with him? What did you learn about him at summer league? Oh, uh, run the floor, run the floor. You get the ball. Uh, Rebound the basketball, you get the ball. Just different ways you can score the ball easily. Uh, he's a pass first guy. Sometimes he passed the ball a little bit too much. But um, of 
course, just running the floor, he's going to get you done. Was the experience of finally being on the floor with him in a, in a real game different from what you've seen from him in, in workouts and, and on film? Uh, it's been the same. I think everything he bring, brings in practice, he brings to the game. Uh, he practiced hard uh, on film. He looks good on film. So uh, we just try to, like I said, emulate him in the game. Yeah, um, we we actually come here and do the same thing every day on the defensive end, uh, whether it's a thing called a stick drill, um, it's just different drills that just help us try to keep it in the back of our mind of how we can play individual defense and how we can help it help each other out on defense. What's the goal of the stick drill? What's the goal of the stick drill? Um, just building out, um, of course, having confidence and moving your feet, having confidence that you can contest the shot. So um, all in all, is just to make it habitual for us to just do it every single time. Last question, Casey. Talk to you about, he was telling me that he thinks you're one of the guys that has a, has a really strong potential to be a good defender. Does he talk to you about like other things that he sees? Oh, yeah, every day, every day. And uh, I look at look up to him as a defender. I think he's a good defender moving his feet. Uh, he can play full court defense. He can stay in front. Uh, he knows when to swipe down at the ball. Uh, he has good hands. So uh, every single day is just a little tip that I can get better at, whether it's moving my feet, where there's no middle, where there's blocking shots, uh, using my length. So every single day is just a little piece of information that you get.